Good afternoon. Good morning. My name is Karen, and today I'm going to give a short TED talk about the topic conflicts, specifically interpersonal conflict. Interpersonal conflicts are disagreements or arguments that often happen due to incompatible goals, scarce resources, and opposing viewpoints. Though it may sound simple, but if interpersonal conflicts aren't properly resolved, it could further lead to tension at home or at work, and it could also erode the strength and satisfaction of relationship that an individual has. So, let's go right into the examples of locally and globally of interpersonal conflicts. Locally, it has been reported in Indonesia that a murder happened. This proves that interpersonal conflict is present in Indonesia. A murder happened due to interpersonal conflict being present among two neighbors, eventually leading to one taking an action that took the life of the other neighbor. This just proves to show how such a small matter, conflict, causes such a big impact to those involved. But not only in Indonesia, but globally, 85% of individuals all over the world experiences conflict in their workplace, within their working members. This, the main cause of conflict to happen in workplace are differences in personality, goals, racial bias, as well as the difference in perspective that each employee has. A research has shown that a, a conflict that happens between working members could cause a disruption in business operations, as well as the business of long-term and short-term success. So, what exactly are the cause and consequences of interpersonal conflict? Well, first, disagreements. Disagreements are often caused by communication problems and incompatible goals. Of course, when disagreement is present, conflicts as well is also present. Differences in opinions is also one, is also one of the major causes of interpersonal conflict to happen. Us as human beings, we want our opinions to be heard. It is, part, it is something to express ourselves that we can use. And if our opinions aren't being, un, aren't being heard enough, then conflict is present. This is one in which is similar to value conflicts. Last, interest conflicts is one in which a person's judge, judgment, actions, and decisions is, is where one of a person's judgment, action, and decisions is based off their interest towards family or friends. So their decisions are biased and unfair to those that they don't have interest in. So what can we do to solve all this? Well, the first thing that we can do is to understand each of the members' point of view. By doing so, this avoids misunderstanding and eliminates conflict from happening. The next thing that we can do is to practice active listening. By actively listening, it causes us to talk less and listen more, making us a good listener. This avoids interruptions and eliminates conflicts as well. Showing empathy is also one of the things that we can do. By showing empathy, it shows that we care. It shows that they are one of our main priorities. Of course, when they are around us, they feel safe and secure, and they don't want any conflict happening in their relationship with you. The last simple step that we can do is to avoid over-focusing on a certain conflict that already happened and quickly moving on to another productivity or another important thing that you can do to quickly forget about the conflict and get things done. So it's a win-win. A, a job is getting done as well as the conflict being forgotten. So in conclusion, sometimes the most complex problems comes with the most simple solutions to have. It all starts from us to make a difference whether we want to change our surrounding and our community as well. As said in the Bible verse 2 Timothy 2 verses 24 until 26, again I say, don't get involved in foolish, ignorant arguments that only start fights. A servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone, be able to teach, and be patient with difficult people. Gently instruct those who oppose the truth. Perhaps God will change those people's hearts and they will learn the truth. From this Bible verse, it teaches us to be a blessing towards everyone around us, to not get involved in those unimportant quarrels that only start fights. Us as a servant of the Lord is called to be a blessing and is called to be a light to everyone around us. So, and for those difficult people that are hard to manage, let us do our best to manage them and let God do the rest. Thank you everyone for listening to my short TED talk. Let us all be a blessing and make a difference. Parents, teachers, students, God bless you.